Okay, in this video we're going to add uh, windows and doors to our uh, ranch style house. Uh, you can see most of the windows and doors are already placed. I'm just going to add a couple of more. Uh, so I'm going to go to architecture, window. I'm going to choose the double hung, 36 by 48, and you can see what type of window that is in the little preview here. Okay. And one of the things that, that's nice about uh, windows and, and doors is as you place them, it will allow you to center uh, the window or door in a room, in case that's what you want. Uh, but when, when I placed all these windows and doors, again, think of it as sketching. I'm just putting them in there quickly uh, in the approximate location where I want them to be. Um, in the kitchen, above the sink, that's a good place to put what's uh, called a casement window. And that's a window you can see in the, from the preview here what it looks like. Uh, they usually have a, a crank to open them, which makes it easier to open uh, as you're reaching over uh, the sink that, that would be in front of the window. Another thing you want to make sure of when you're we're working uh, with these windows is that the flip arrows are on the outside of the house. Okay, if, if they're on the inside, the window is actually backwards uh, and the interior part of the window is facing out. So if these arrows are on the inside of the house, you just click them and they flip uh, right back out again. Okay, now we'll look at adding some doors. And again, most of the doors are already here. Um, for our standard entry door, we used a 32 by 84 single flush door. Uh, now here's a little trick that, that comes in handy uh, when you're working in Revit. If I just right click on that door, I can go to create similar and it takes me right in and I'm, I'm ready to uh, create that uh, an identical door. So I'm going to place the door in there. Now one of the things we want to make sure with, with doors is that they open into the room just like this one does and that they swing against a wall if possible uh, so they're out of the way when the, when the door is open. Uh, this door swings against a wall but it's the closet wall. I'd rather have it swing against this wall over here. So if I click on the door you can see two sets of flip arrows. I can flip the door this way which I don't want to do, or I can flip the door this way, which is something that I do want to do. Now the other thing you got to watch with doors is that uh, you have uh, enough wall space on either side of the door for your door frame. And the minimum we want to have there is three inches. Okay, so that looks like a little less than three inches right there. I'm going to go up and hit the thin lines button to make it look a little better. And I can actually, if I want to measure it, I can go in and I can measure um, from, from the wall face to the door and see exactly what I have there. And it looks like I only have an inch and a half. So we have a problem there. We need, we need a little bit more space for that door. So I'm going to need to move this wall over a little bit little review here. If I click on the wall, that activates the dimension for that wall and I can move that wall over a little bit. I'm going to move it over to 7 feet 6 inches. That should give me enough room. Now I can click on the door and move it over a bit. And I can do that just by pressing the arrow key on the keyboard if I would want to do it that way or I can click and drag the door. Okay, so now I have a good four and a quarter inches on either side of that door. A uh, nice type of door to use for a closet is a bifold door. And you can, again, you can see in the little preview here exactly what that looks like. Okay, and how they fold open. Uh, I'm going to use my Create Similar option again. Just right click on that door and do Create Similar. And come over and use my centering option here with the dimensions. Okay and center it right on that wall right there. There are doors that are specific for the uh, exterior entries. If you uh, click on that one you can see that's a little decorative door with a half moon light or window. Um, the garage door has another type. I think I, be I believe I downloaded this one from Autodesk Seek. Uh, and then your garage door uh, is going to be 
uh, something called an overhead sectional door and they have that right in Revit. Uh, if, if you can't find what you want in Revit there are two places you can look uh, Autodesk Seek and also RevitCity.com. To get to Autodesk Seek you just go to insert and it's right here and you type in what you're looking for and it goes online uh, and looks for uh, that particular item.